Welcome to Inside Builder channel. Open source enthusiasts and my dear friends. Installing and using Synapse admin. In this discussion, we are going to look at how to install Synapse admin, one of the softwares that is useful for uh, those who have installed their own or hosted their own home servers in Matrix ecosystem. Before we dive into the discussion, you might be uh, not aware of what Synapse or what is a matrix server, etc. If that is the case, I would suggest that you take a look at the linked videos in this video. So you can see that at the bottom of the uh, bottom of this video, you will be able to find how to host your own home server, how to uh, bridge the home server, etc. There are lots of discussion that you might find useful. Now, what Synapse admin can do? So let me show you a small demo. Here, what you are seeing is the Synapse admins uh, dashboard. So I have already logged into the Synapse admin and I'll be showing you how to do the login, how to uh, do all the process. But here I just want to show what you can expect from the Synapse admin. This particular Synapse admin has been logged into my the home server that myself and my friend have uh, hosted. And uh, these uh, this particular uh, uh, server uh, we have been testing various uh, activities and features of the server here you can see that we have created two users admin and uh, demo user who which have both server administrator capacity in order to access the synapse admin dashboard this is the first page so users is the first page and then we have got uh, rooms in the room we have uh, got various rooms however uh, i am not showing the room names here we have also bridged the home server with uh, google messages bot so there are lots of uh, things going on in the server as you can see here there are rooms with so many members also and we can see the member numbers here in the users case in the users case we can actually create and a uh, new user also so if you can go here and create uh, the new user you can give the user id you can give the display name password user type and finally you can make them as a server administrator or not so you have these abilities to do here you can go and check the users media uh, whatever they have been discussing and you can click on reported events inside the server you can send the reported events also you can look at the room directory so in the room directory, these are the various rooms that has been created inside the server by the users. So you can see that here and uh, you can actually open that and look at the various details inside the room also. So for the matter, if I go into the demo, uh, just a minute, if I go into the matter bridge room, so you'll be able to see the various details of uh, the room ID, etc. And uh, also the creator, uh, the respective details. You can go into the details and you will be able to find various information about the rooms. So basically what happens is Synapse admin provides a overall picture of the home server and the Synapse admin that you saw is running in my local machine. It's not running in the server. Synapse, Synapse admin is kind of a interface that you can run on any of the machines and then you can provide your user ID and password. So let me do that also to show you guys what happens. So let me log out here. And once I log out, you will see that Synapse admin page opens up and you can provide your username and you can provide your password and uh, then you can provide the home server URL. This particular home server URL, the Synapse version is mentioned here. And if you are using development version of the home server, it will be also mentioned here. In this case, I am using a regular home server that is getting served from the uh, internet so now if i give the username and the password here you, you will see that i will be able to log in so i am going to do the sign in right now and I, here i am at the user uh, users uh, page so there are it's a very simple dashboard but it is very very informative dashboard and uh, with this uh, kind of a setup how to bring this kind of a setup so that's our uh, discussion in this video let's go back to the presentation now you have seen the demo in order to actually access all the users and uh, create user etc and do all this stuff you need to have an admin user to begin with so you need to create an admin user inside your uh, matrix home server 
for that you have to create a regular user if you guys are new to creating the regular user you can take a look at my earlier videos where i discuss how to create the regular users and uh, next once you create the user you need to update the users using this particular postgresql query so this query that you are seeing here that i am uh, running my mouse over is the query that you have to write inside the postgresql psql uh, uh, psql uh, prompt that's where you have to do this in this video i will, I will not be showing how this is being done but uh, you can actually do it uh, by yourself it's not a very big challenge let me go down so there are three ways to install uh, the synapse admin so one is the docker the other is apache server method and another is git clone i prefer to use docker because it's pretty straightforward so let's go back to the browser the synapse admin has been uh, supported and created by awesome technologies the repo you can find it here i'm going to zoom in a bit for you guys this repo has got all the information that is required do leave a star scrolling down you will see that uh, the project is built using react admin you can read about all you want here it needs minimum synapse 1.5.1.52.0 uh, version and you need to have access to the endpoint synapse admin and matrix this is only possible when you are going to have Synapse Administration API access. Also, before you go forward, let's go to the admin FAQ page. All these links, right, I'll be sharing with you guys in the description. So you don't need to worry about it. You will be able to follow along without much of a difficulty. So you can see that the command that you need to execute inside the PostgreSQL, I have shown it here. So you can use that also. Let's go back to the, to the Synapse admin. There are uh, three different ways to install Synapse Admin. Synapse Admin, as I was telling you, it's just a front end which queries the um, home server and fills up the page. It does not do anything more than that. So it's it basically it's an HTML page inside which JavaScripts are running. I'm not going to go in deep into how this uh, things work, but uh, one thing is for sure we are going to use the Docker root. So let us go down to the Docker root. The docker root all you need to do is you need to uh, run this command docker run and uh, once you do uh, run this command then you will be able to access the uh, front end this particular front end at port 80. in my case you see that it is at port 8000 that is because i am running the docker inside the linux ubuntu linux flavor as a virtual machine I am using, I am making this video in the Windows machine, so I am using the virtual machine for the uh, running the Ubuntu. Let's go to the Ubuntu host right now. So here you see that I already have a prompt for the Ubuntu virtual uh, machine and uh, you should have already got the Docker installed. So if you have not installed Docker, you will not be able to see the version here. So if you see, I have already installed Docker. Uh, there are lots of videos where the docker installation process dis is discussed so i am not going to touch that in this video all you need to do is you have to start directly with this particular uh, this particular uh, command so docker run port that is this is the port that uh, i am going to use 8080 and it is going to be uh, mapped to 80 port so i am going to convert this to 8000 because the ubuntu virtual machine that i am running already has 8080 given for synapse server so i am not going to touch it and next i am going to execute awesome technologies synapse admin so here it is saying that the container is already uh, the port is already occupied so let me do a docker ps and let me do an all you will see that already i am running uh, running a synapse uh, admin server here and uh, when i am trying to run the other server this is actually creates a problem so that is a that is the issue but when you run the uh, doc this command for the first time you will not face any such error so i have been running this for more than an hour right now so that's why you are seeing this problem this is how you actually bring up the docker synapse admin as a docker let me go back once you do this uh, docker in case of uh, the virtual machine what happens is I have mapped the docker port 80 with the host port 8000 but this virtual machine is running inside a container right from that container if I have to access the machine's port then I need to do a port forwarding 
for that port forwarding i have to go to the settings here in the virtual box and there i need to provide the port forwarding in the nat so i am using nat uh, network here go to port forwarding and here i have port forwarded 8000 to the guest port 8000 so this is something that you guys have to do then only after that only you will be able to access the uh, synapse admin in this area you will see this is the reason why it is running in 8000 i hope that you uh, you guys got a, a brief idea of how to work with synapse admin and what are the various benefits of uh, synapse admin and uh, uh, use it for your day-to-day uh, -day activities with that said i would like to uh, come to a close of this uh, brief introduction introductory video on synapse admin like this there will be many more videos where we where i introduce the bots like matrix commander matrix nio framework and uh, uh, many other similar kind of reminder bots so stay tuned for those videos till the next video i would suggest that practice whatever i am uh, trying to provide here because matrix home server and the technology surrounding it is becoming very important uh, till the next video guys stay tuned and practice 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 see you have a great time